Infinity is on the offensive, says car tester Michel Asenmacher. The Q30 was the Infinity's first venture into the compact class, and now they're expanding the series with the crossover QX30. It too boasts a typical Infinity design. The QX30 completes Infinity's compact series. The crossover's design is both elegant and powerful. The Japanese car maker's signature double arch grille and eye inspired LED headlights make for a striking front end look. The three sweeping asymmetrical lines are reminiscent of flowing water, making for an elegant and dynamic appearance. The QX30 comes in only one engine variant, a 2.2 liter turbocharged diesel. A further demonstration that this crossover was conceived as an add-on to the Q30 series. The Q30 and QX30 are assembled at the Sunderland plant in England, making them the first Infinities built both in and for Europe. The QX30's trunk holds an ample 430 liters. The QX30 is both sporty and stylish. The suspension keeps the car comfortably quiet, with no loss in responsiveness. The powertrain is borrowed from Mercedes-Benz and delivers the expected state-of-the-art performance. All-wheel drive and a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission are standard. Michelle says the steering in the QX30 is responsive and gives a good feel for the road. The Infinity engineers wanted to make sure the steering would be neither too sensitive or too sluggish, and they succeeded. The collaboration between Daimler and Renault-Nissan is especially apparent in the interior. Only the logo on the steering wheel was changed. The buttons, switches, and levers will be familiar to Mercedes drivers. And the layout is exactly the same as in the Mercedes GLA. Michelle says the interior is both elegant and luxuriously equipped, but it does feel slightly cramped inside. All the controls are within reach, but they seem a bit crammed together. The overall look is appealing, but on this high-gloss bar, you'll see every little smudge right off the bat. That's a minus point in Michelle's book. The 2.2-liter turbocharged diesel engine generates 125 kilowatts and accelerates from 0 to 100 in 8.5 seconds. Top speed is 215 kilometers an hour. Infinity says the QX30 consumes 4.9 liters per 100 kilometers. The Infinity QX30 has just 2 centimeters more ground clearance than the Q30, and visually the only difference are the touches of plastic on the lower end of the bumpers. Overall, Michelle is happy with the QX30's handling. It has a nice grip on the road and the seats are comfortable. The only drawback is the slightly cramped feel in the driver's seat. The QX30 retails in Germany starting at close to 39,000 euros. That's about a thousand less than the Mercedes GLA, which sports an identical engine. So there's a price advantage, and the Infinity model has more features.